Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Ash Wednesday, 2022, I uh, wanted to share with you a devotional thought as we finish up the Beatitudes. Hear God's word from Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I'll read that again. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So you think about all the way from like Silas's age in second grade up to, you know, our retirement years. Uh, people are criticized for living differently. You know, kids are made fun of on the playground for for uh, not going along with the crowd or not not swearing or not cheating on a test. And all the way up through life and all the way to, you know, retirement years, people might criticize you or might not understand why would you why would you spend your time volunteering? We only have so much time left or why would you give your money to the church or give your money to charity? I mean, I mean, you, you know, you might run out or you might, you know, want to treat yourself. Um, all the way through life, people criticize us and sometimes even persecute us for living the way of Jesus. But the bottom line is that we are serving another kingdom and another king. That's what Jesus is getting across here. You know, when you're persecuted for righteousness sake, you will eventually receive the kingdom of heaven. And he's not just talking about heaven after we die, but he's talking about the way of Jesus, the way of eternal and abundant life that begins right now and continues while we walk this earth all the way until uh, the new heavens and the new earth. What a follower of Jesus is called to be, especially in this time and in this place, is a counterculture for the common good. Uh, you know, we're not opposed to our neighbors who don't know Jesus. We're, we're for them. Uh, what we're opposed to are the, you know, the dark forces and the powers and principalities of this dark world. <laughs> You know, read, read Ephesians 6, uh, verse 12 about, about that. But we are, we are, um, swimming against the stream. We are living our lives in a different way from everyone around us because we have our identity already. We have our peace. We, we know who we are. We're, we're children of the, of the king. We're living in this alternate kingdom. And so uh, that gives meaning to our days. That gives uh, a strength to the way that we raise our children. That gives identity to uh, to us. That helps us to know how to spend our time and how to spend our money. If If you are living the exact same way as everyone else, then you have to stop and consider which kingdom you're serving because the the kingdom of heaven that Jesus is talking about it is radically different than the kingdom of this world which is which is fading away um the kingdom of Jesus is is forever and Jesus our king laid down his throne um so that we could, so that we could be in a relationship with God, so that we could, we could come home and be in the true kingdom that we were created for. So my friends, keep, keep praying thy kingdom come. Keep turning from sin and turning toward Jesus. I remember a very memorable Ash Wednesday service when the, when the pastor made the sign of the cross on my forehead and said, turn from sin and turn toward Jesus. Keep trusting in the grace of Jesus for your life and his invitation to join you, to join us in, uh, in building his kingdom. Have a wonderful Ash Wednesday as we step into this new season of Lent. Please join us at 545 tonight at church 
for a pancake dinner and for worship together as we begin this season of Lent. And may God bless you.